This turtle was found in the back of a power plant canal with a pretty big chunk missing from the back for shell. We had to figure out a way to fill that gap and to keep it from getting worse. So we're faced with this challenge that as she's growing, that gap that's in the sea turtle shell wants to come together. And as it's coming together, the hump in the back is becoming more significant. So then we talked to engineering um, groups. We also had doctors from local hospitals. We talked to our veterinarian experts and just comes down to, you need to stop the shell from coming together. So what can we do? With 3D printing, the, the possibilities seem limitless. The question was, how do we make a brace that will um, work well in a saltwater environment and won't degrade over time? I don't usually work with ocean animals in my work. This was a pretty special set of circumstances for us. He came up with this really ingenious idea of filling that space within the turtle so it fits perfectly. We were able to work with another research group at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. They came and they scanned the rear of the sea turtle. Scott took that information and was able to put it into a program. I got this 3D scan of the turtle shell, um, which had the good half of the shell, and then there's the half with the, the big chunk taken out of it. So all I really had to do was mirror the good half over the bad half, subtract the bad half from the good half, so I'm left with this perfectly fitting plug, and the top of it even mirrored the other side, so it still had all the sort of shapes and designs and grooves in the top of the shell that the other side had. The next step was to print it out. We went down there and did a, a fitting. I went down, I thought I was gonna have to be like a, a tailor. I came with, with all these Sharpies and extra tools and like measuring tapes, thinking I'd have to make so many tweaks, but it just fit perfectly the first try. We use a marine uh, epoxy, which is similar to the kinds that you would use on boats, to fit it around the turtle. She didn't even notice that we were doing anything, honestly, at that point. They, the turtle was very relaxed, and um, it takes about two hours for that marine epoxy to dry enough that it could have gone back in. We also um, bandaged her just in case, you know, the stingray or a grouper would bump her or she would hit the exhibit in some way. So she was bandaged for about two days. You would have never known it. She went straight to feeding. She acted completely normal, and um, that was that. I felt, I felt so fantastic to see the the brace working, and I'm really amazed that you know this was something that we had the capability to do. An injury to the back flippers and the spine meant that she can't be released back into the wild. We're so glad we found a way to fix her shell and give her some better mobility with four dollars worth of plastic and, and these consumer grade machines and a, a little bit of know-how we were able to, to, to make it all work. I know nothing about turtles, I don't know anything about sea creatures, but it's amazing that right now you can just pick up a technology and you know dive deep into it and the, the applications just come. We believe this is one of the first times that this has possibly ever been done, if not the first time. It's so exciting, I think, to just be able to scan something and be able to ask someone to help you and have it printed, and then it's like a perfect fit. That's like amazing for people, that's amazing for the animals, and to be able to take this technology and make a difference in an animal is huge. None of these jobs existed. Um, even a couple years ago. So everyone in my position pretty much built their own job around new technology. Wouldn't it be super cool to be able to replace other body parts of animals to help them live out long lives? I mean, I just think that there's so many applications for it. 3D printing has added so many um, new capabilities. The limits, the barriers, they're all coming down. And the applications and contributions towards science are gonna be huge.